More and more people are trading cryptocurrencies, these digital currencies such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, uh, library credits, LBCs, and you know the, the price of these things are exploding. You can see today I am in the Qtile window manager and in my panel I have this little widget that tells me the current price for Bitcoin. You see BTC, the current price is $47,000 and that is just incredible. I remember early last year when I really started, you know, first playing a little bit with some crypto because I was getting paid crypto at LBC credits on library and, you know, bat and brave. And, you know, a lot of times I would convert those things to Bitcoin and the price of Bitcoin early last year when I first started, you know, paying attention to these sorts of things was like $8,000. And then like a month later, that the price of Bitcoin had exploded. It was worth 12,000, you know, and then 25,000, 30,000, you know, it was 30 something thousand at the beginning of this year. And it's almost 50,000 now. And where is the ceiling? I don't know. A lot of people are trading these digital currencies now, and I don't think we've hit the ceiling yet. I don't think 50 K is the ceiling for Bitcoin. I think a hundred K is more than likely where it's going to, you know, plateau at and then probably come back down, you know, correct itself. And, you know, for those of us that are speculating a little bit with these digital currencies, because I like trading, I like trading stocks and options and, and currencies as well. And uh, sometimes I just need to know the latest information. I, I want to know the latest exchange rates on these digital currencies. And, and I just want quick and easy information. And that's kind of why I have this little desktop widget here in Qtile is because I can get that information very quickly. But what if I'm not in Qtile or I didn't have a widget set up? Well, there are several nice command line tools where you can get these prices very quickly. Today, I wanted to share with you a couple of really neat command line tools that will get you the exchange rates for all these cryptocurrencies. Probably the most common tool that people know about as far as command line tools regarding cryptocurrencies is really just uh, curling a website. <laughs> Those of you know that, that the curl command, there is a website out there called rate.sx and their source code is hosted over on GitHub. Rate.sx and you just open up a terminal and you curl that URL. So let me show you that and let me go ahead and open a terminal and I'm going to zoom in here. and. Let me get rid of that line and let's run this command curl rate.sx with no other arguments. And by default, you get, I guess, the 10 most popular cryptocurrencies Bitcoin, Ethereum, USDT, and some other stuff. Litecoin is in the mix here. And you get the latest rates on all of those. So that is a very simple command, of course, but you could implement that curl command and scripting, you know, you could filter out, you know, the columns that you wanted and, you know, you could do something. I, I like make your own uh, Bitcoin ticker, <laughs> like what's going on here in Qtile. Matter of fact, Qtile, the widget, it, it's a built-in widget. I'm not exactly sure what they are using to get their information. They may actually be pulling from rate.sx. I could check the source code here in a minute and we could actually check that out for sure. Now, other than just curling, you know, rate.sx, you could do rate.sx and then a slash and then give it the symbol for the coin that you're actually interested in. For example, BTC. If I just do that, it will give me a chart for Bitcoin. And this is really, really neat. Uh, it's a, the chart from yesterday's trading day uh, because I'm actually recording this on a Friday and it's showing me Thursday. So I, I guess it's always the previous business day that it shows, although it does give me the current end for Friday as well. So one other neat thing you can do is if instead of curling rate.sx and then slash BTC, if I just wanted a, an exchange rate on a certain number of coins, for example, I could do 5 BTC. So curl rate.sx slash 5 BTC, and it will give me the dollar amount for 5 BTC, which is currently $236,000. So that is rate.sx. Uh, really, you, you, there's nothing to install. If you have curl installed on your Linux distribution, almost all Linux distributions have curl already installed. 
Just open up a terminal, run the curl command, and specify the coin that you're interested in getting the raid or the chart for. The next command line utility I want to show you, you do need to install. It's a program called CoinMine, and you can install it using npm if you want to, or if you're on an Arch-based distribution like I am, I found CoinMine in the AUR, and it's a rather simple program to use, but it's very powerful, which is the reason I'm talking about it today, is because I, I just find these kinds of programs neat. So if I I run CoinMon with no other arguments, very similar to curling rate.sx. You get a chart of the 10 most popular digital currencies and their current rates. If you wanted uh, uh, to specify a number of currencies to display in the chart, you don't have to do just 10. So you could do CoinMon dash T and then give it a number like, I don't know, give me the top 50. You know, and that's a rather large chart. Let's run that again, except this time just do the top five. Of course, oftentimes you're looking for the rate of just one currency. That's typically what I want. So this is the command I would typically use, coinmon-f, and then specify a coin. Like I want to know the current price of LBC, because I've got some LBC stored away. And right now, LBC is trading for... oh. 14 cents, or almost 15 cents. Wow, that has exploded in price. LBC is very much correlated with the price of Bitcoin. So as Bitcoin explodes in price, LBC is doing well as well. Also, you could do more than one coin. Like you could specify exactly what you want other than just one coin. I could do LBC, comma, ETH for Ethereum, comma, BTC for Bitcoin. And now I'll get a chart with those three currencies. And that's really all there is to CoinMon. If I did to CoinMon space dash H for help, uh, there, there's all the flags. We talked about the dash T flag and the dash F flag. That's the only ones there are. Dash H, of course, is just the help flag. And dash V gives us the current version of CoinMon. So uh, CoinMon and curling rate.sx, there's really not much to them. You, you can get the rate. You might can get a chart, <laughs> you know, but that's about it. But that's, that's all you need, right? This is just quick and dirty information. And because these are rather simple command line utilities, it wouldn't be that difficult to implement these things into scripts. You could probably even get these things to work with something like Dmenu or Rofi. And of course, I, I did mention in Qtile, at least, there is the built-in widget for the Bitcoin ticker here in the panel. And I did say I was going to look at the source code to see if I could find the source code for that to see what they are using here in Qtile. So if I go to the built-in widget list for Qtile, uh, there's a lot of built-in widgets that you can use for the panel. And the one we're looking for is the Bitcoin ticker. And then if I look at their source code for the Bitcoin ticker widget, and let's see what website they are querying to get the, the Bitcoin price. It looks like they are using uh, Coinbase.com. It looks like they're using the API for Coinbase.com to get that information. So pretty cool. Uh, by the way, CoinMon was also querying some other some website to get its information. It was querying CoinCap. APIs. So that was just a very quick look at a couple of really simple tools you can use in the terminal to quickly get the price of whatever digital currency that you're interested in. Before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of this episode, Absy, Dallas, Devin, Fran, Gabe, Lou, Corbinian, Mitchell, Akami, Arch5530, Chris, Chuck, David, 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 Donnie, Dylan, Gregory, Louis, Paul, Pick, PM, Scott, Wes, and Willie. They are the producers of the show. They're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon without these guys me rambling about cryptocurrency on this video, it wouldn't have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen. All these fine ladies and gentlemen help support my work over on Patreon because without you guys, I couldn't do what I do. If you'd like to support my work, look for DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.